gonna get you into the movie theater. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of the new Evil Dead. is putting out horror movies these days like a serial killer puts out dead bodies. There's no denying this new Evil Dead is Tinseltown's most notable victim. Yes, Evil Dead is the most hotly anticipated and controversial horror movie of the year. Many fans feel that to remake the classic gore fest that put Sam Raimi on the map is blasphemy, even though Raimi and star Bruce Campbell are behind this remake. In fact, Raimi and Campbell had planned to remake the film a few years ago, but scrapped the idea because fans reacted to the news so poorly. But with Oren Pelly, Eli Roth, and James Wan earning impressive blood money at the box office, Raimi and Campbell decided to heed the saying that fans don't always know what they want. And sure enough, now that Evil Dead is being remade, fans aren't sure what they want. Undeniably, many are eager to see how Raimi and Campbell have updated their original film, especially because they've made some interesting choices. First up, Ash is now a girl named Mia, played by Suburgatory's Jane Levy. Good choice, as Levy has a small but potent fan base, plus her own impressive comedic chops. A much better choice than Lily Collins, who was originally set to play the role. But things get even more interesting behind the camera. Juno and Jennifer's body screenwriter Diablo Cody has helped script the film, along with Uruguayan filmmaker Fetty Alvarez, who is making his directorial debut. Similar to what happened to District 9's Zeal Blomkamp, Alvarez made a sci-fi short film that became an internet sensation. And just as Peter Jackson scooped up Blomkamp, Raimi signed Alvarez to make a feature-length version of his short film, but first he put him on this Evil Dead remake. But beyond all of this, what made the first Evil Dead such a sensation, aside from Bruce Campbell's performance, was how incredibly gory it was. Much like George Romero's Night of the Living Dead, the film made a name for itself by catching audiences off guard, as they'd never seen anything like this before. But haven't today's audiences seen everything? Raimi Campbell and Alvarez are betting they can show you something you haven't. Let's go find out if they've succeeded, even if they did have to edit their original cut down from an NC-17. So some of you might remember Robert from the BTT crew review of Stoker, and also a couple episodes from a few months ago. Uh, he's an audience wrangler here on the show, but he also happens to be a big horror fan. And you saw Evil Dead last night, right? Mm -hmm. So um, for, before we start with the reviews, I'm trying to get where everybody is on the horror scale. So what are your favorite horror films? Uh, Scream would be my number one, and I... I couldn't rank them, but I would say Record and 28 Days Later are probably tied for scariest movies I've seen. Cheapest Creepers, The Grudge. Dark Skies, which I recently watched. I thought it was pretty original. Like, okay. they show like some different stuff. And I also like uh, Insidious. The original Evil Dead was one mm -hmm. of my original horror films. And when I saw this one, this didn't disappoint. Evil Dead and Evil Ooh. Dead 2. Oh, really? Yeah, those okay. are my two favorite movies. So. Well, how's this one? How's this? I loved it. Oh, you did? I, it blew my Mind. Did you like it? Yeah, it, it kind of... <laughs> you seem a little reluctant, that's why I ask it. It's mind-boggling, it kind of is. It just took me yeah? through a lot of... It twirled my head. Like, it Are just, you still recovering? I'm slightly <laughs> recovering still. I really don't, didn't like it that much. Oh, okay. What didn't you like about it? I, I thought it was more like a disgusting movie than a scary movie. As a horror fan, how is it? Um, <laughs> it's not very scary. Uh, oh no, so, it's not no, scary? Not is it really. gross? It's gross though. Okay. I, I'd say it's probably an 11. Really? Yeah, it's pretty intense. I'd say it's a 10, for sure. Wow. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's it's a more realistic version of the what you saw in the first two movies. You Did can, you have to look away at all? Uh, only one scene, that's it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they got you. Yes, they did right? get me. And I love horror movies, but at least one scene I had to look away. Did you ever have to look away at all? Or could you no. Also, oh, no, good. I wasn't. Oh, good. You have a strong stomach. That's good, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, I'm a stoner in medicine, so. Oh, yeah. I, gonna, I, gonna, I, I wasn't like, oh, okay. If you're infuriated by idiot plots, you should not see this movie. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that. It's, you said it's Prometheus level stupid. Yes, it is definitely okay. Prometheus level stupid. Well, what did you think of the director? Because Sam Raimi didn't direct this himself. He handpicked Fetty Alvarez off the internet to do this film. 
Is he Sam Raimi made a good choice yeah. because he he kept true to the uh, whole Sam Raimi feel, especially with the whole uh, camera direction and everything. He kept it true. They put enough elements in there that kind of, it was like they took the first two movies, which were my favorite, and, and they kept the elements Ooh. that I loved and, and put them in there. The second half, there's a lot of Sam Raimi shots Okay. Um, that I think even Sam Raimi would be proud of and kind of would wish he had come up, like, done Oh, really? Himself. I still have to make it a mission to see it. Oh, so you haven't seen the first I one? I haven't seen the first oh, that's one. Oh, so that's good. So you have a fresh perspective. Yeah. Do you see what everyone's talking about? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. I honestly can't picture them doing it any better than they did. Well, I have to ask you, they're going to make an Evil Dead 4. Yeah, or an Army of Darkness 2, right? Yeah, so which way do you want it to go, though? Do you want to I go want to back see to Ash that? come back okay. again. I, yeah. I've been, like, I mean, if he could have been well, in this Bruce one. Bruce Campbell like, Ash, right? Well, yeah, yeah, Bruce Campbell Ash, of course. I want to see Bruce Campbell kind of pick up the old chainsaw and where he left off at the end of uh, Army of Darkness. I would love that. I wouldn't mind going back to that world, but I think it's better if it was Army of Darkness 2 as they, they, they claim they're going to call it. I think that's better. What do you give it on a 1 to 10? I give it a three. Seven point five. A ten. I gotta give it a ten. To me, I'll give it a friendly ten. With an overall score of eight, clearly this new Evil Dead isn't for everyone, but for gore fans, it's hell on earth in a good way. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and I hope we'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.